Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel SKV Tutorial for Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you easy to restore broken Windows system recovery files with DISM tools. If the SFC scan failed to resolve the issue, the deployment imaging and servicing management tools can repair the core Windows system recovery files. The DISM command scans the local Windows image files for corrupted files. If corrupted files is found, it will attempt to repair it by downloading necessary files from live Windows updates. That is what we are going to do. So watch the video. If you like this video, kindly subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's start. First of all, make sure internet connected properly on your device and then you need to open command prompt with admin privilege. To do that, Open the search box by pressing Windows logo key plus Q. In the search box, type CMD and in the search results, here you need to run command prompt as administrator, select run as administrator, then click yes to approve the user account control prompt. It will open command prompt with admin privilege. In the command prompt window, type the following command dasm.exe space for slash online space for slash clean up hyphen image space for slash restore health and press enter. This command line tool will begin scanning and repairing corrupted or missing system files. This may take some time depending on your system and it normal for it to pause or seem stuck at certain percentages. Be patient and do not close the command prompt windows until the scan is 100% complete. Okay, DASM command specifies that should run against your currently running windows installation rather than offline image. It performs clean up and recovery file operations on the running operating system. Restore health scans the local windows image files or corrupted files. If corrupted files is found, it will attempt to repair it by downloading necessary files from live windows update. Okay. Once the DSM command is finished under percentage complete successfully, if the SFC scan failed to resolve the issue before, run SFC scan a final time to repair any remaining issues. You should run SFC scan again for successful finish. Do it again. Run a system file checker, SFC scan. Let's start to do that. First of all, you need to open command prompt with admin privilege. Open the search box by pressing Windows logo key plus Q. In the search box, in the search box type CMD and in the search results, here you need to run command prompt as administrator. Select run as administrator, then click yes to approve the user account control prompt. It will open command prompt with admin privilege. In the command prompt window, Type the following command sfc space for slash scan now and press enter. This command line tool will begin scanning and repairing corrupted or missing system files. This may take some time depending on your system. Be patient. Do not close the command prompt window until the scan is 100% complete. Microsoft recommends running the SFC scan to fix any remaining corrupted system files. This command is a key part of Windows repair and is often run after other troubleshooting steps have failed. It is most useful for fixing issues with Windows update that prevent it from downloading necessary files. Corrupted system files can cause a variety of problems including critical errors like the blue screen of death, general instability or features that don't work correctly. Running the command SFC scan can automatically fix these issues by replacing bad files with good ones. Once the scan is finished, once done, then restart your computer to apply any changes. That's all. I hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching and supporting. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Your contribution is more confidence to us. If you have any issues, so please let me know in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more useful videos. Once again, thanks for watching and supporting. See you in next video. Bye. Take care.